Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 44th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about subroutines in Perl. So a subroutine is uh, uh, a function, you could call it a method and uh, if you've programmed in other languages then you would know uh, the advantages of using functions and uh, if you haven't well it's it's really quite simple to understand why you would want to use functions if there is something that you would want to do over and over again in your script it could be adding two numbers or uh, concatenating uh, first name and last name and creating full name or uh, you know doing simple uh, arithmetic or uh, performing some operations on strings uh, if there is something that you are doing over and over again then instead of writing that piece of code uh, you know as many times as you need you could just create a function and then call that function uh, whenever you need it so uh, in Perl we call functions subroutines and uh, there really is no other difference between functions in other languages and subroutines in Perl uh, the syntax is uh, slightly different maybe but uh, in terms of execution and uh, the way you interpret the concept of functions Perl is, uh, is, is you know the same as other languages so I've got a script here that's called subroutines and in this script on line number three I have used uh, the keyword sub and this is the keyword that you use to create a function in Perl and after typing in sub you have to give space and then you have to mention a name for your function so I'm go going to call my subroutine message and then there's a set of empty parentheses and uh, then between the curly opening curly brace on line number four and the closing curly brace on line number six I have one print statement on line number five and this is all the code that this uh, subroutine contains and you don't just have to put one line here even if you have like 1500 lines between the opening and closing curly brace it's fine there is no restriction on the amount of code a subroutine can hold but uh, this subroutine is is a very simple subroutine it's just going to display the message hello youtubers so that's why i have a print statement here which is uh, going to display hello youtubers with an exclamation symbol and uh, just creating the subroutine is not going to serve our purpose because we want to see this output so we don't just have to create this but we also have to call it or we want this code to execute so you call a subroutine by just typing its name and uh, if you've put a pair of empty parentheses after the subroutine name then you would have to put that here as well and uh, in the next tutorial we're going to talk about how you can pass arguments to subroutines in Perl and uh, for the time being there is no argument that the subroutine is going to accept and uh, hence you have the empty parentheses here and uh, of course since this is an executable statement you would have to terminate it with a semicolon and uh, that's it it's it's ready we can execute uh, the script by pressing f5 and there we go when i press f5 i see the message hello youtubers with exclamation so that's it about subroutines i hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care